Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. Today I wanted to play with some more tea bags and a um, canvas. It's a cardboard canvas for painting. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to do like a, a mixed media on here. So first of all, I'm going to grab my, I'm going to use some matte medium and then what you'll need if you want to play along is um, a choice of something for a focal point or focal points. You'll need some matte medium or some Mod Podge. You'll need some tissue papers, tea bags, um, rice paper, anything that you can put down. I'm using some that are just the tea bag, and then also I'm going to use some rice paper that I've printed some digi photo, you know, images on that I like. I've got a few things here. Um, I might use as a focal point. I was thinking about using some of our little windows we did the other day or even maybe a puzzle piece. I did one of the larger puzzle pieces and just to play. thought it was cute. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use on the focal points yet, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. You'll need a paintbrush, um, some paint or some inks, uh, stencils, stamps, you know, all the fun things that we use. Uh, in our our mixed media so I am not positive I didn't like you know if I did voiceover then I could give you a list of this is what you're gonna need to do this project <laughs> but since I don't I do it semi live you know here we are so I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out some matte medium here and I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these I've got four tea bags these are the larger kind and I am going to put them down and cover the entire surface of this canvas. And I don't mind that there is tea, little tea leaves and flecks here and there because they're on the, the bags as well. I told you, I think in the video yesterday, I really like the way that that looks. So, you know, I'm just, I'm not bothered by that at all. So I'm going to go lengthwise when I lay these down and I'm putting them where it's like the inside of the bag is facing the um, the canvas and I'm just gonna sit them side by side and I am gonna also use um, I'm gonna use some uh, gesso so I'm gonna be fading in like I do when you've seen me do many people do other videos um, where I kind of fade in the lines and make them blend and get kind of that cloudy look that looks uh, ethereal, you know, almost. It's, it's, it's a cool, fun expression, I think. And I've got some lines here. I don't mind. I want those. So I'm just lightly going over. This is a pretty soft paintbrush. Um, these, you know, tea bags are... are fragile but at the same time they're kind of tough little buggers if you really think about it if you don't pull on them and tug them it's not like tissue paper you know tissue paper can rip quickly tea bags are more they've got more uh, grit to them than than tissue paper I am liking that already <laughs> just <laughs> just looking at it which is exciting for me because I did a uh, mixed media video the other day for you guys that never got posted because I just didn't like the way it came out. Um, I kind of played with it later and added some touches of gold and stuff and it looked a little better, but I didn't even post it in our Facebook group. I was like, nope, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to lay this like that. I, I'm, I'm trying, I don't really want it to overlap, overlap, because I'd like each individual tea bag to get... Um, the attention. I don't know how to phrase it, but I want each one to kind of stand out on its own. Okay. And because I'm going to build on top of these. So it's these, these are just giving me kind of a fun, different base. Now I know one of these, no, I think this one's not it. Okay. I must have already used it. One of them had a little tear, but obviously it didn't stand out too much because I didn't notice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to look down on this and see. Yeah, I'm already looking, liking the pattern and 
it's going to give me a good background to build on. So, yeah, it's fun. I'm not real worried about the the direction I'm going because I kind of like that that hashtag, you know, or what is it called? Not hashtag, um, hatching, you know, that back and forth motion. So I'm not worried about that either. Okay. Hashtag. <laughs> anyway, you know, I always say you've got to be able to laugh at yourself, right? Especially when you're doing YouTube videos. It's true. <laughs> All right. So that's where we are at right now. I'm give you a little closer look. It's pretty cool. I think they're fun. Uh, this is my first time doing this. I've not tried this before, so we'll see. I'm just checking to see how this is tearing. It's tearing pretty easily. I don't want to rip onto the canvas, and I like how it's surrounding the edge there, so that's pretty cool. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? kind of folding over. Now, I know I should probably wait for it to dry, but you know me. Impatient Nelly. That's me. Is that even a name? Impatient Nelly? Maybe I should call my, let's see, Impatient Averna. Averna. There's <laughs> nothing with an I. Starting with an I. You could also take sandpaper or um, a, a nail buffer, a square nail, nail buffing block. And you could use that to, um, or even a file, nail, like a acrylic nail file, the, one of those tougher ones. That's what I keep over here and I usually use for edges and stuff if I want to sand it off. But I'm not sure on this if I want to sand it off. I kind of, like I said, I kind of like how it's overlapping a little bit. I think it looks kind of cool. So, yeah. I may just go ahead, oops, and remove this. I think I might go ahead and grab this gel that's on here and just hit this edge a little bit and let that kind of lap over the edge. Oopsie. If this turns out well for me um, and I don't decide to keep it for my own house to frame, I may put it in my shop. So you never know. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll turn out at least good enough for me to want to keep for myself. <clears throat> like, I need to show you guys what I did to upcycle my... It's a really pretty frame I did uh, with a... Like a jelly print on the inside of it as a picture. And I did it... And it's a frame from the dollar store, but it worked out really good and it turned, it, it's very pretty. I keep it on my shelf and I love it. Okay, come on. Sorry, I've got like a um, collapsing stuff over here. <laughs> so I'm going to pause for a minute and hit this with the hot gun and uh, the dryer and, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back and I have a couple of the rice papers that I want to grab from. So I have one of my little watercolor pins, whatever they're called. I don't even know, but I'm going to use them to just kind of go around these flowers and oops, got my finger wet. <laughs> Rip it before I even start. Yeah. Just wanted to take a few pieces. This is from my new kit. The steampunk rose kit. One of the pages. They're all kind of random um, about the different girls. You know, they're each different color schemes. They're not the same. And I kind of like that. So I was thinking, I'm not sure, but I was thinking of using her. Maybe. We shall see. Come on. There we go. I have so many I printed out the other day and they're all so pretty and I was like, oh, I don't know which one I want to use. I, the different, um, these different 
rice papers that I did. Like I did some of Tina's. And look at that. I mean, it's just beautiful paper. Oh, and I had such a hard time deciding that. I think, and I am going to use some of this one from Miss Tina. And I think I'm just going to kind of tear uh, these just to get some pieces randomly to put on the... That's so weird. What is that? Is that tape? Oh, it is. It's tape. I don't know how it got on there, but okay. I just kind of wanted some of this as backdrop. I love this pink. It's one of my favorites. It's out of Savile Row. Um, I love this one. I also have the blue one printed out because same, same uh, design, but just in blue, and I love it. Let me get rid of this edge. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I was thinking because it's rice paper that it's possible that it will show like the, the tea prints behind it, I think it'll probably show up. And I just kind of wanted the floral throughout, you know. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I hope it looks okay when it's on there and it's dark enough to show up. It's kind of a really light, but I wanted, I've been doing so many brights. I was going to try and keep this one a little more neutral with just some more kind of just some pink and um, I'm not even sure yet on the paint I if I'll use paint or if I'm going to use some inks I, I don't know the other day I just had a disaster with my uh, my blue and I, I got so discouraged I, well I don't want to say I got discouraged because I'm fine but you know I was a bummer <laughs> it didn't turn out right and I really didn't like the way it came out so Oh yeah, I can still see some of the tea bag, which is very cool because it's got the little grains. It's going to look very rustic underneath the flowers. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I hope you guys do too. Let's see. Get this corner over here. Can you guys see okay? Making sure I'm in frame right. I know I have a really bad habit. I was doing better, and now lately I think I've been going off kilter again. Okay. I love how it goes over the edges of this canvas and just wraps itself around. That's nice. You guys, let's see if the light's kind of hitting this. You see how pretty that is? I like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the girl. And I'm wondering, should I bring... I like the edges of her picture is why I kind of left it there. I mean, I did and left her so big because... The picture that I used for her was had uh, tears on it already and looked pretty cool. So I just got way too much. I'm going to turn my lid here and put some of this back into the bottle. Don't want to waste my medium, right? For no reason whatsoever other than I'm just being overzealous. Remember in yesterday's video, I told you I get to move in too fast and I, you know, I get clumsy or things mess up and that's why. It's because I, I get overzealous, I get excited and I've always been that way and I'm trying in my old age to stop being that way, you know, slow down child and enjoy the process. 
It's always been my problem. I don't, I'll be honest, I want to get to the end of the project. I don't want the process so much. And that's not good. <laughs> I don't, I don't like being that way. It's just the way I've always been. I'm like, I want to know that I made that, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to wait to get there. I just want to have it done. That's not right. You know, that's growth, right? At least I'm recognizing some things in myself that aren't not necessarily awesome sauce. <laughs> so there we go. I really like the uh, the tea bag coming up from underneath the print. I think that looks very fun. I I like it a lot. I obviously did not get. Um, I've got some air here. Yeah, that's so. I didn't get. There we go. Oops, well, that's all right. It's the edge. It's okay. Okay. Now, we'll do some laying down of the, just the flowers here and there. Okay, I'm going to put my lid back on so I have a spout. a little bit here in the corner. There we go. It was in the wrong direction. Yeah, they're very subtle and which is what I, like I was saying, I kind of want to pull back from the bright colors and do a little bit more of a neutral, subtle look to this one. And so that I think is working. Yay, I'm glad to see that. My plans do not always work like that, so. <laughs> okay, one more. I think I'm just gonna put the one more here in the middle and then that'll be it with the decoupaging basically with the rice paper. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna have to let that dry. I'm gonna pull out, next I'm gonna bring out my gesso and I'm gonna have um, some fun just kind of clouding this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna pause while it dries and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I was wondering what, how well my this brush would do in laying down some gesso. I usually use my finger and find that I like the effect of that, but I wanted to just give it a try um, to see what I think. It's kind of, it's a really soft brush, so I was hoping that maybe it would give kind of a feathery, you know, appearance. Because once this dries, it just kind of blends into whatever it's next to, but mine's kind of play tricks on me, I think. Because I watch other people do stuff online, you know, on YouTube, and, and I go, oh, yeah, I can do that. And I go to do it, and I do the exact same thing as them. <laughs> And even though I see the lines and the, the way it lays on theirs, I still think mine doesn't look right. Do you guys do that with yourselves? I mean, you know, show of hands now, be honest. <laughs> do you judge your own work like that? Because I do. I have a tendency to be like, oh, it looks so awesome when they do it. But when I do it, eh, you know. And I'm trying to get past that because, you know, it's not cool to be so uh, hard, hard on yourself. And... I know all of you have already told me, a lot of you have told me, now patting it makes a nice effect, I like that, um, you know, that 
I should stop being hard on myself or not. You know, and I am. I am. You're right. So, I always have been. And I don't know why, but I, uh, I think, I think we're all like that, to be honest, to some extent. I mean, you know, I know there are those that have gotten past that. Praise God for that. But I think that for the most part, we all at least start out there, you know, where we're a little harder on ourselves than we are. And sometimes, sometimes we're harder. I mean, in some situations, like if we actually do something really bad, we might, you know, uh, be like hoping others will understand. And I don't know how I'm trying to say it. Like, you know how when you make a real mistake where somebody actually has a reason to really be mad at you, then you want them to be, oh, be nice, you know, be nice to me, I would be nice to you kind of thing. But at the same time, on the inside, okay, how are you telling, what are you telling yourself, you know? That's kind of what I'm talking about. But when it comes to stuff like this, like artwork, now I am liking this brush and then kind of going over it with my finger because that kind of smooths it out a little bit. So, yeah, I might start doing this. Um, like this, but yeah, but for me, I, I just tend to, I'm talking about like with art or anything, I tend to judge myself as not being good enough or not, you know, being good because I'm not as good as so-and-so I'm not good enough. So I shouldn't even try. And that, you know, for me to be on this channel, that's why I always tell you guys for me to even be on this channel doing what I'm doing, that's a huge deal because normally I wouldn't put myself out here like this. I've had a lot of you say that to me too. You put yourself out there, da, da, da. No, I never really did. And if you guys, you know, were inside my head, you'd realize <laughs> I never put myself out there. This is a new thing for me. It's a totally, it's a huge challenge, huge I'm, I am proud of myself for the fact that I'm, I'm even doing it because, yeah, fear of being judged, I think, has been, uh, you know, being ridiculed or not accepted and that kind of thing has been like an issue for me. So I watch other crafters and they hardly ever talk about stuff like this. I'm like, gosh, I, I'm way too, maybe I'm way too uh, revealing and like... I should just stick to the program and craft and tell you guys in technical terms exactly what I'm doing. Like right now, I'm going around these edges. And, I'm <laughs> and instead, I'm over here talking about my inner workings and my feelings. <laughs> I love you guys. You're awesome. You're awesome people that watch this channel. You are. You're kind and giving and accepting. And Yep, you make a girl feel loved. Thank you. Thank you for being my friends. So, okay, so now I've got the edges covered. And I know it looks kind of funky right now, but it'll dry. And we're also going to do some other fun things now. So I do need to let this, this uh, layer dry. I am learning to not jump onto the thing. So I'm going to let it dry. And then when I come back, we're going to do probably a little stenciling. Give it some texture. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I have these little stencils that I got. I don't even know. I think I got them at Family Dollar. Um, and I was thinking I'm going to do a couple of the corners with the this. And let's look in here for my little credit card thing that I could use on here. Instead of, of course, if I use this skinnier one, this might work just fine. I just want to be able to get right on there, and I don't want it to go all over the place. I'll try this and see how it works for me. Let's see. Whoops, see, I already did it. Look at that. That fast. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. There we go. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to wipe it afterwards. It's probably better than the card. I think the card would have been even more difficult, actually. And 
And this is, again, the heavy gesso, so it's not going to run as much as you would see the thin gesso run. And I did get it over that edge. I did not mean to. Hopefully I can clean it up. Okay. All right, now I'll try to pull this up. There we go. Other than right here, which that blended right in, that's not bad. <clears throat> and then I was gonna put, do it over here. But I don't, I don't wanna get it directly on that flower. Huh, this corner, no, I want it opposite. Oh well, I'm gonna go for it, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna bring it right to that edge. It'll cover the flower a little bit. That's okay, I mean, I don't know what I'm worrying about. I'm gonna be covering it with stuff anyway. That's the thing, I, I, I know we've all talked about this actually in our messages and stuff about how it's hard to, you know, see it. Um, it's a, it's a layering thing, you know, and you have to remember that. And when I'm doing it, I have a tendency to be like, oh, I don't want to cover this or I don't want to cover that. And then I go, wait a minute, what's the whole point, you know? Okay. So there's those two sides in a little mess up on there, but not anything to where I'm going, oh no, I can't sand it or anything. And then I had this one, which is probably going to be harder, <clears throat> but I was thinking that if I could do a little bit of it, and because it's so big, I'm hoping I can get, I just kind of want to hit some of these areas without hitting what I just did. But this one kind of is a super, super thin uh, stencil, like as you can probably see from even your viewpoint. It's a really floppy, thin, thin stencil, so I don't know how this is going to work for sure, but I'm giving it a try. Just because I thought these flowers, like this piece is coming up right there, but I thought these flowers might kind of look pretty on here. And then I was going to hit, and like I said, because it's such a big stencil, I can kind of hit different spots and not even have to move it. no idea if I'm going to even like this. I'll be honest. There we go. All right. Now. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I don't hate it. Yay! I don't hate it. That's a plus, right? <laughs> That's always a perk. She doesn't hate her work. Okay, so I'm going to do just this little corner right here with her. Because it's such a, a blank space in her photo. That photo has got so much white to it. It's very cloudy and surreal or um, ethereal like I was saying earlier did I say the word right ethereal anyway it's got that look you know where you kind of feel like it's dreamy and uh, yeah yeah all right not bad not bad again I don't hate it so this is getting kind of cute I'm gonna um, pause and I'm gonna go wash this and I'll be right back all right guys I'm back so I'm going to do some stamping real quick. I want to get some uh, some script on here. Just different places. So I'm liking how it's turning out so far. Um, 
think it's pretty and surprisingly so <laughs> to me for me um I know that's one of those hard statements I shouldn't make, right? So, T. Okay. Okay, let me see here. I have a little butterfly that I think I would like him to be kind of here and there. I'm gonna try and probably be covering him up, you know, in certain aspects, but oh man, look at that. I'm using the archival ink again so it won't won't run on me. And I've tried to let this uh, dry pretty good on the gesso. I wish I hadn't messed the bottom of them up over here. Let me see. I wonder. I'm going to try something. I've done this successfully before. Let's see if I can do it this time. I just want the corner here of his little bottom part on that. Let's see. It'll be on this side. And then just the tail end right there. So I'm going to try. Let's see if I can get that. Putting my head in the camera probably, aren't I? Okay. Got him. <laughs> so, you, you can pretty much... I need one of those boards, though, that when I do stamping, I could actually sit it against and be able to kind of gauge. Okay, so... Now, now, I was thinking what paints I wanted uh, I wanted to use for this. If I wanted to use um, the metallic watercolor instead of the regular watercolor, <coughs> so I think I'm going to give it a shot here and see what I, if I like it. Um, because I have so many of the, I have the different, you know, pinks and the gold and um, a beautiful green. I don't know how exact I want to be in this painting here. So I'm going to, first, I'm just going to kind of play around with it just a touch and see if I um, want to do what I'm thinking or if I want to change my path that I'm taking. So I'm not going to jump in and pour a bunch of colors. I kind of learned a lesson the other day about that. I really uh, did not like how my paint, my thing came out, as I told you before. So I'm trying to slow down a little bit, chill out, and, you know, get me a towel here to wipe my brush on. So what I was thinking was to see how, see how I get to moving too fast and I get ahead of myself. I don't know if I want to do this exact 
or if I'd rather kind of make it a little bit more watery. I think I'm going to take it over the edges and let it be a little bit messy. I know this isn't how I normally do. I normally pour the paint on and just let it kind of go where it goes. But with this one, I was, I don't know, I was kind of hoping. I'm using those metallics I showed you guys. You had wanted to see me play with them, so here we go. <laughs> We're playing with them. I ate some yogurt while I was taking a break, and it's kind of giving me a tummy ache. Hmm. What do you guys think? I know they're not, you know, perfect or anything. I'm actually meaning for them not to be. I'm kind of wanting them to go over the edges. Um, I don't want them to pour down the page, but you know what I'm saying, right? Kind of like how we did those flowers that day. They were shaped a little bit like this, so I'm just kind of throwing the color onto the petal and around the edges of the petal. It is watercolor, so I'm hoping that when it dries onto that paper, that tissue or rice paper, that it's going to be, um, you know, the watercolor-esque feel you get with watercolor, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean, right? So it's still, gosh, this is for next, is this for Thursday or Friday, this video? I think it's for next Thursday. It's Thursday of this week. I, I'm, I'm trying to get myself a couple weeks ahead in my videos, except for Mass Mondays, so that that way I can take a few days off here and there and not feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, my videos aren't going to be running, you know? <laughs> I told Cory, um, just for, for a few weeks, I want to get ahead of the game. And then that way, when I do take days in a row off to work on other things, I won't feel pressured at all because, you know, I, I was telling him, I know it's a self-inflicted pressure because I chose my own schedule. However, I feel, um... How do I put this? I love you guys. And I have, you know, I have made promises to you about my videos in the, in the pattern that we do them. And I, I don't want to ever let you guys down that way. Even though you've been wonderful about me taking my time and stuff, which is great. And I'm so grateful that you guys are understanding about it. But <clears throat> I also feel a sense of responsibility towards my channel, you know. And I don't want, I want to be professional. So you guys get it. For me, this is my job. This is what I'm doing now to make a living or trying to make a living at it. Um, you know, and so, yeah. I'm actually really liking this metallic um, paint. I like it a lot. It's very pigmented for <clears throat> as fine a paint as it is. Um, it's got a lot of pigment to it. I 
I love the um, <clears throat> the green I'm going to use is just so, so, so pretty. You guys will see here in a second. It's a beautiful green. Um, I think on that center, I'm going to bring in a little darker color. And like I said, I could take my time and like not hit the sides or anything with this paint, but I kind of want that look over the edges. And I'm hoping I'm not wrong about it, but I, I just think it's kind of cute. Okay, and then this green. Oh, you know what? I am going to do the center. Sorry. And I'm looking here to see which color I'd like to use. I think I'm going to use this one. It's um <clears throat> kind of a rosy color. Just to have it a little different than the pink. And because of the gesso, it's not and because it's the dry, I'm doing it kind of on a dry surface. It's not going to do that whole watercolor run thing like it does sometimes as much. I'm glad I stamped on some of the flowers because I like, and then on the, like the butterfly and stuff because it looks kind of cute, I think. Ooh, I have a sneeze coming on. Oh, I can feel it. Hmm. I wonder if, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it because I don't know. Unless I try. I have this really pretty, the ink tints pencil in uh, Fuchsia. And I was thinking, I wonder if I came into the center really lightly with that. Yeah, it's making them a little bit darker. Oh, I like that. I'm just dipping it in water a little bit just to activate the pencil. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's cute. I hope you guys do too. So far, so good. I have not destroyed this one. <laughs> uh, don't be mad at me for saying that. I really did destroy the other one. <laughs> I'll show it to you. You guys will see what I'm talking about. You know I will, because I show you guys stuff all the time that I mess up. I just, you know. Okay, here we go with the green. This green is so pretty. There's two colors of green. I'll show them to you. Um, there's this darker one that I'm going to use right now, and then the slider one. They're both beautiful, but I really like this one for the flower stems and leaves, okay? So I'm just getting it on my brush real good. And then, oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, it's such a pretty color. Okay. I'm just letting it flow down like I did with the flowers. I'm just letting it flow into the crevices around the leaf that were created by the um, the gesso. So kind of instead of uh, letting it fall down the page, I'm kind of letting it fall into 
the crevices this way. It's more controlled than normal, you know, than I normally would do, which I like for this particular piece, this project, because, I don't know, I really wanted it to be, to stand out and look not just, I don't know, what's that word we use for? That does not look, I think I got part of a leaf and part of a, uh, part of a petal in that one. Anyway, when we're doing the art journaling and stuff, we're so abstract, you know what I mean? And I didn't, I kind of wanted this one to not be as abstract because of the setting of what it is with these ladies. Because I do think in, you know, in the end, I'm going to put some of those, um, some of those ladies that we made on there. And uh, so I want them to have a pretty background, not just abstract or uncontrolled. I don't know how to express myself. I'm trying to tell you guys, but yeah, I like that. That's pretty. That was my computer talking to me. Oops, wait. Let me check my... Technically, that was Cordy. He's messaging me. Heading back from Scottsdale now, sweet lady. That's what he said. <laughs> so my honey is done with what he's doing over there. Now he's got about a 45 to 50 minute ride because his truck's not, of course, able to carry, pull the trailer. So his coworker, Ricardo, is doing the driving today. So he'll be back to the yard in about 45 to 50 minutes. And uh, then it'll take him another, probably depending on his stops, because he always stops the store for me and stuff, another hour to get home. So I'll be seeing him around 2.30, 3 o'clock. I always tell him, let me know when you're leaving Scottsdale, because that's when I start... Uh, not packing up my work, but I start doing other stuff too and <laughs> getting things like, you know, little, little tasks that, you know, I want to have done for him when he gets here, getting his stuff ready for the evening, starting dinner, you know, that kind of stuff. And these are such, these leaves are uh, such a, I just love this color. I love, love, love this color so much. So pretty. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I, um, how long have I been on here? What time is it? Oh, okay. We're good. You never know when you start pausing. I mean, I can see my clock, the, the timer on my camera though. So, no matter how many times I pause it, I've got it set up now to where I can see it all the time. There was a time when I couldn't, and I was like, I have no idea when I started, when I paused or when I started. Or... But anyway, when you start pausing a lot on your videos, you know, you kind of start to lose track a little bit of how long you've been on there. Because you feel like you've been on there forever. When in Reality for you guys, I may have been on here for a half an hour, but for me, it's been two. <laughs> you know, so and I promise you, I could be a little more uh, exact with this painting, but I really don't. I don't want to be pouring down the paint down the page like I usually do. However, I also don't want it. Uh, to be controlled, so that's why I'm just kind of flopping this paint on here and getting getting it onto the leaves and the petals because, like I said before, I mean, I've probably already explained it, but
see. Where else? Here. And then these two over here, and I think... Almost done with this part. This was the more tedious part. I'm sorry for... This is the only... These kind of situations are the only times that I wish I really liked doing the editing, so... Okay, so there's our flowers, you guys see. Okay, and then on these edges, I was thinking, what do I wanna do for these? Like these little, now this might be where I may do a little bit of pouring um, or a little more, um, yeah. Here, I missed a spot right here. Where is it? Oh, I missed this one too. Just hitting these real quick. I missed a couple leaves. And then this one here. Oh, here we go. I knew I saw a spot that I missed, but I couldn't see it again. Okay. Um, so I was thinking on that part. Hmm. I'm just thinking here. And I think I'm going to use this bigger brush to, to put these on. This edge. I'm doing some gold to see They may be a little bit too translucent for doing something like this. I'm going to go over this and then I'm going to run some water. Hmm. I'll be right back, guys. I have to check something. Okay, guys. So I'm coming back in on top with some more gesso to give it a little more texture. Um, 
sorry if I sound quiet. I feel really sick to my stomach. So <laughs> I'm just going to finish this video and lay down. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know. I don't think my yogurt was bad, but I ate something that did not agree with my system. So, yeah, I just wanted to give this a little bit because I'm going to come back now with some more gold on top of the overlay. And it was just too much um, of the words for me. Those were, uh, I'm just going to make that so you can see it, but not distinctly. I It, it was too much. The words were too much. Oh, I didn't mean to come in over her face, though. That was... See, that's how... I'm not feeling good. You can tell. Um, but... I can do this, and it should... Wipe away. Yeah. Okay. She's back. No, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling good. So, anyways, let's finish this pretty baby and we'll be done. Yeah, so I'm going to come back in on it, like I said, with some uh, gold and hit. I don't, I don't want it to be super anything bright or dark or anything that was going to distract away from everything else. But I do want something more than what I have here. I'm going to pause and let this dry real quick. Okay. So I'm going to do what I did before because that seemed to work pretty good. And I'm going to use this brush to bring in some more gold from the top and then just let it run, kind of run down to the bottom. And I am going to let this go across the flowers and all that good stuff. You know what, I think I'm going to use some of my temper, tempera paint because it is I just think I can get it to move a little better. Yeah. Definitely moving a lot better. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of framing with gold around these edges. So my pink moved. The watercolors, <laughs> which I guess could be expected, right? I'm just bringing that gold down into the white because it's so light you can see through it it's just giving it you know the highlights okay all right now get my other watercolor out and use my black and do some splatters a little bit.
I probably should have covered my under everything underneath, but right now my <laughs> I'm not feeling good and I'm not thinking as well as I should. Oh, I got a big old splotch right there. Dang it. It's picking up. That's good. This started out to be such a good project, and then my stomach went uh, left field on me, and I got flaky. And I need to cover her face. I'm getting paint on her. I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to mess it up more. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Man, I probably should have let this dry, but because it's wet, it could work in my favor with this woody pencil because, you know, it reacts to the water. So in some spots it might. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and... Almost done, guys. I think I'm talking to myself more than you guys this time. <laughs> Just keep going. You're almost done. You can do this. I was thinking I would like to add some word, some words to this. Um, I also wanted to, I did want to use these frames. Um, so yeah, let me just, no, I'm going to use a brush on this part. There's a little bit of it that did not the water didn't really move it. Oops. Through here, oops. See? Too much. There we go. I like to use a brush too, right against the pencil. It'll also give you just enough, you know, to that get that spark in there. And then I was gonna, what was I gonna do? See if I can still pick up some of that black right there. And it's coming off her face, off her forehead. I accidentally dotted her forehead a little bit. So there we go. Okay. Um, all right. What I was going to grab was my words over here, if I can find them. Where did I put them? They're always right here, and now they're not.
that's really weird because I didn't take them anywhere. You know what I mean, my little... Oh, here they are. Jeez, I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I never move these things. What I was going to say was that I would kind of like to put a couple of uh, words on here. And also, I wanted to see about using a couple of the... girls that we made possibly because they looked pretty before I don't know let's see how they look to me now but okay I'm just gonna darken this a little bit now that's too much hmm keep pulling pulling out memories but not um how about cherished memories <laughs> i keep pulling out memories but not beautiful i wanted beautiful memories but no i'll darken this first before i hit it with that black because that messed it up okay And the reason I'm hitting it with the black is because I wanted it to be more highlighted than with that, you know. Okay, there we go. Am I in the camera? That's all I'm doing. It's just going around that edge, kind of tipping it with the black a little bit. Okay, cherished, and then these girls, what I was saying was, I was thinking, oh, I got flicks of uh, black on her, shoot. It's only watercolor, it should come off. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I was thinking it would look cute if we did place some of them around the page like that. Oops, wrong way. Or down here. Should I put them there? There's my gold. Here we go. I was going to add a little bit of gold to the edges of these frames to kind of bring them more into. Now these have it already. This one does. The other one didn't have any. But a little bit more never hurt, right? Same here. It also softens this black a little bit that I had on this edge. So I was thinking one about there and then one about here and then her there, this young lady here. And I'm gonna use my um, hot glue to do these. And I'm just gonna put them on the top, okay.
So anyway, sorry I got kind of not feeling so good on you guys. Um, but I didn't want to stop the video. I'd already done so much, you know. Okay. Here she is. Oh my, what's that? That's like a weird... Okay, good. It's wiping off. I'm like, what is that? When I wiped her, I guess I, I don't know. I got something on there. I'm not sure what. Okay. And then these two, I'm just going to use regular art glitter. Actually, I am going to use, I think I will use the, because then it'll kind of raise them just a little bit. Cherished memories. Oh, let's see. I feel like that one's okay, but I feel like this one needs. I'm going to change this one out because I've got. I have so much black on my hands, it's coming off onto my work. That's what's wrong. Um, from the from the woody pencil. I know it's not the ink because the archival ink won't run like that. So just wipe the tips of my fingers and see if I can. I got black on there, and that's does not look good. So let me just redo that one word. And then we'll call it, we'll call it finished. And hopefully it's not too bad. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not liking it as much as I thought I was going to, to be honest. But again, that's just me. I do want the black around the edges. but I didn't want my black fingerprints on it, you know what I mean? I probably should have just glued it down first. This shows I don't feel good. I probably should have just glued it on there first and then uh, put the pencil around the edges and kind of just mushed it into the picture, you know? Okay, there we go. All right, you guys, I hope you like it. I don't know how I feel about it, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> it's not horrible. I mean, it's okay. You can see the gold. It looks really actually kind of pretty from here, but hopefully you can see it good enough to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, thank you so much, you guys. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. No, I will see you on Monday. God bless.